Welcome back to the Math Use, um, where in my Math 7 courses we've been talking about um, probability. Specifically, in this video, we'll be talking about problems 3, 4, 5, and 6 on probability 6. And as you guys know, these are the review problems. So let's go ahead and look at it. So classify a triangle with angle measurements 30, 60, and 90. So this is a very popular triangle in geometry. So we have a 30, a 60, and a 90 degree angle. So this is a right triangle. And then we're looking at scaling, isosceles, um, and um, obtuse. So scaling, obtuse, acute, no, obtuse, acute, right, so we already classified that one. Now we're looking at scaling um, and um, isosceles. So all three of these sides are different measurements. We know that because all three of these angles are different measurements, so we can go right scaling triangle. Okay, so that would be our answer is a right scaling. Okay, use the fundamental counting principle to determine the number of unique answers responses for an eight question multiple choice quiz with A, B, C, and D as possible answers. So we have for no, first choice number one, we have four, two, four, three, four, 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 five, four. So we have four different possible answers for all of these. So we're going to multiply four, it's four, it's four, it's four. Four, two, four, six, eight. And then we're going to find out that that is equal to, so 65,536 responses. Okay, so we have that many total responses to a, uh, different student responses. Hopefully most of the, hopefully you guys just give them 100% when you're looking at something like that. Okay, five events, A, B, C, D, and E are theoretical probabilities and we have the probabilities here. Okay, um, order the events from least, most likely to most likely. So we have A is equal to 0.55, so we're gonna 11 divided by 20 is 0.55. B we're given is 0.53. C, when we convert a percent back to a decimal, we have 0.47. Two fifths and D is equal to 0.4. And then E, three sevenths is equal to 0.428571. Okay, we probably would only need to go to 0.43 for that, or just the two decimals. Okay, so we can write these in order. The smallest one is D. The next smallest is E. And then C. Then B. Then our last one is A. Okay, and that's all we're going to do. We figure out the decimals and then we put them in order. Our last problem for this video, um, number six. The cake creates a scale model cake of various objects. She is hired to make a cake of the Statue of Liberty for an upcoming event. She looks up the dimensions of the statue and finds that, the measure, that it measures 305 feet from the ground to the tip of the torch. She is using a scale factor of 1 to 120. 120. How tall will the cake be measured in inches? Okay. So, first of all, we're going to take, and we need to figure out how big her model is going to be. And we're going to figure this out in feet. So, x is equal to how tall in feet this is her model is going to be. And we're, we're making it to a 1 one twentieth scale. So whatever, 
So whatever this, this is going to be proportional. These are going to be proportional. So we're going to um, do some cross multiplication. So 120x, because when we multiply these together, we get 120x. And then we multiply our 1 and 305 together. We're going to divide by 120. Okay. These cancel out and become just 1. So we get 305 divided by 120 gives us x is equal to 2.54 feet. Okay, that gives us feet. There are 12 inches in every foot. So we're going to multiply this by 12, giving us, so we're going to go 2.54 feet times 12, and that gives us 30.5 inches. Okay, that's how tall the model, or the, the model cake is going to be. Okay, if you have any questions on problems 3, 4, 5, and 6, go ahead and let me know. And be sure to watch the next video on problems 7 and 8.